Hello? City Hall? I'd like to make a formal complaint. Murder. Oop. Did not think he survived. How did you not notice? Rude of you to block. So many important looking boxes. Puppet destroyer's amulet. You already get puppet cucked. <laughs> what am I talking about? Spectre. You can use star phone at the cracks calling next to the boss area. Summon a Spectre to help you. In a I guess there's a boss battle over there. <laughs> huh. I saw a blue thing and I honestly just thought it was a, a checkpoint. We've got a corpse run for this boss fight, don't we? There's no, uh, checkpoint in front of it. When it, I don't know if I remember exactly when I got four heals. He's just a silly guy. Scrapped Watchman. That's hard to judge. Ow. Yeah. Damn it. Why didn't I do it? That sucks. Ah. Why can't I block? Or why can't I parry? Okay. He did that forehead combo and I was just like, okay, well, tap, 
tap, tap, tap. And then I looked, then I, I was like, why aren't I getting big sparks? I'm timing this pretty well, I think. And I look at my character and he's just, blo he looked like he was just blocking the whole time. And I'm like, what? I wasn't holding it down. Why was he blocking the whole time and not parrying? I don't know. Timing based parry things being core mechanics always fuck me up just because I'm like, I'm, I always am doubting like what even happened. Like, how did it play out? Did I do it right? Did I do it wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Which part? What, what? What? If it was going wrong, what was going wrong? Which part was I doing wrong? Because it, it often feels like I'm doing it right. The frustration is that sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I, I see exactly how this fight works, and then it doesn't work for me. Oh, there's a spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks he lays mines everywhere. God, it's everywhere. Damn it. It's rough because you seem to have to also dodge the mines. Oh, it's a grapple. Okay. 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 He just keeps going. Okay. So, it, having done it again, I definitely did successfully parry the entire swing where he just goes left, right, left, right. Uh, it looks like there's just an extended period where your character, like, stays in the parry animation for a while, but you are, you are in fact, successfully letting go of, of block and reapplying it to do a perfect parry over and over again. It's just my character looks like he's standing still and just holding block the whole time. It look for, like it's, that's what the animation looks like. But from my perspective, I'm, I'm just tapping block, 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 block to do the parries. And you can tell from the orange sparks that it is in fact parrying. So I guess it does work and I just need to not care about the animation. <clears throat> Electric mode is brutal. He, does, he has all these charges everywhere and he does the thing where it's like, I want to just block the, I want to parry the combo. I already know how to parry. But he's leaving electric mines under me the whole time. I have to dodge those too.
God, that's such a slow one. God damn it. Yeah. That technically has a tell, but it doesn't look that different from other attacks. Because he always is jittery and grabby and wide. Damn it. Did I just block that? Nah. That's so slow. No, that's a grab. Brutal. This is hard. I keep forgetting to try the grapple on more enemies. I get distracted by doing the actual fights. And then everyone I've tried to use the grapple on, it doesn't do anything. But then I keep forgetting to try it on more of the more boring enemies. It's probably because they're just so approachable that I don't need a tool for them. But in this guy's case, I don't really know of a moment where I want to grapple to grapple to him quickly. There's definitely moments where it's, it would pay to run away from him if I preemptively can tell when the electricity explosion is going to happen. But I'm not good at telling when that's going to happen either. kind of retroactively recognize, oh yeah, that was that animation, which is not the time to react. Sometimes it seems you can do the stagger before he actually turns white. Which is a little confusing. I, saw, I spotted it at that time. Ah! See, that looks just like the time where he is going to just swipe. He does something just like that when he's about to swipe, but that time it's a grab. They look too similar. Ah! The fucking electricity. I don't know what the timing of that is at all. I never seem to be able to get it.
now. That's a frustrating attack. Ah. I don't get what I'm doing. Got one of these. That's good. Nah! I, I recognized it that time, but then it still couldn't get out. What do you do? I'd like to heal at least. Okay, it's iframes based. I got it. That was fairly satisfying to put together. I did. I got the. I got there. That was it's so much loot. It's so much loot that it, there really should be a press A to continue for lo looking after all that loot pops up on the screen. I'm like I don't know what all this is. There's a billion things on the screen right now. Friends. Faded whistle. I kind of. It kind of feels like you should be rewarded for hitting enemies in general with more healing. I have somewhat mixed feelings on the fact that you only regenerate healing after you use up all your healing, and then you can earn another one, which... Like, I'm thankful for that mechanic. It feels good to earn another one, but... It almost feels like a punishment for successfully holding off on on healing for so long that you then... Uh, you, are, you haven't been generating healing that whole time. You know, slowly putting together the whole rhythm of his stuff, the weird th way that you have to, like, still... You the you have to, you you learn the attacks and patterns during phase one where they're relatively easy, and then phase two adds the lightning offset where you then have to worry about dodging the lightning afterwards. Then I'm still I'm dodging his big wind up uh, attack combo, but uh, but I'm like I'm I'm pairing each one like I was before, but then quickly dodging to the side, then pairing the next one. You have to set up like a rhythm where you keep moving because he keeps putting lightning charges on your feet that will then explode. There's cool stuff happening there. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. I'll use my power to help you. You know, let's give myself some vigor. It's kind of an issue. Let's see. Yeah, it's, that's 20 more stamina. I need like a thousand more to level. That's like 900. It's not enough. The Broken Heroes Ergo. From the Scrapped Watchmen. The Watchman contorted and broke from the adult's desires. However, he never forgot the children who considered him their friend. I should be throwing more of these things too, the Thermite and so on. They're not very common though, I don't have that many. I will just quickly run out. Yep, instantly repair his weapon durability without the big charge up. Repairing your grind, repairing your weapon mid-fight is is fairly satisfying. It's neat. I don't think I've been to the workshop for these things yet. 
Overcharged story battery. Legion arm core part. Craft Watchman's central core. The Legion arm with immense power can be crafted by engineer vengeance crafting machine. The, the plan of Crot City Hall's Watchman ultimately failed. The Watchman, whose storage battery had swelled and back had bent horribly, became an angry judge and swept through releasing Boulevard. Or P organ core part. A key part that can activate the P organ. Activate the P organ allows quartz to be equipped. P organ in the quintessential of the brilliant craftsman Geppetto's puppet skills. Rare parts are necessary to develop a device like that. Uh, I guess we can use quartz now, somehow, somewhere? Hard to make out what that thing's really saying. Small wooden officer puppet. A shapeless toy carved from wood and painted over. It has the strange appearance of a hunchback, but it was obviously made with care. Winter, abandoned by the adults, the children let go of their ch childhood to survive. Spring, the broken police puppet accompanied the children's whistles and restored the children's laughter. Summer, the children made Murphy by carving wood and painting him with stolen paint. Fall, Murphy, who received Murphy as a gift, never let go of it. Faded whistle. A faded police whistle. It's been worn smooth from use. The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may have been discarded as a failure, but in those moments at least, he was a children's police officer. Is that a Gascoigne moment? Are they, are they being that blatant about it? It kind of sounds like that was a Gascoigne item. Like, you could have, you, if you ran over there, picked that up during the fight, and then used it, you can, like, distract him, maybe? Where am I upgrading? Yeah, I still only have three. Let's go find Geppetto upstairs. There you are. Let's make it stop. It's already gone. It says regain your humanity. Did I regain humanity? How's that work? <laughs> uh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please go save him and shut down the factory. Venini. P organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Don't forget to use Grinder to collect Remember, some pea organs. The hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place. Especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. <gasps> <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> P organ. Use the P organ slots to activate your character's latent abilities. Equip quartz on the P organ to obtain its corresponding effect. If you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the group synergy effect. You equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group. Each time the synergy effect of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects if you attack your P organ to higher phases. I don't know if I get that. Anyway, let's, it probably makes more sense in the interface, honestly. One more pulse cell. Oh, at least you can equip... E oh, I think you can... 
you can alert you can learn each thing a few times so you can get even more pulse cells more fable slots link dodge enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion increase the time of an enemy's staggerable status I would more so want to make them stagger faster. Phase 2 must be activated. Okay, so I can't get to phase 2 until I learn stuff from phase 1. Okay, so that makes sense. I have two quartzes. Well, having another heal seems obvious. What? Okay, that's weird. I understand why the description was con why I didn't understand the tutorial because what the fuck am I looking at? You click on the increased pul pulse cells thing and then you get a completely unrelated thing of to upgrade. I guess I guess you get both. Do you go upgrade both at the same time? Enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. So charge attacks also stagger. The attack of fatal attacks. The attack of fable arts. Increases the enemy's staggered duration. Well, the other one said that, too. Enhances the... The guard regain recovery when attacking enemies. Enhances discharge pulse cell charging with a fatal attack. So your fatal attack gives you another heal. Faster. Lowers damage received when pulse cells are discharged. Lowers damage received when dodging. So you receive damage when you're dodging anyway. Charge legion when eliminating an enemy. One. Charges a certain amount of legion when an enemy is eliminated. That'd be good for being able to use more of that power. Lower stamina consumption of charge attacks. Charges fable when perfect guard is successful. That's also good. Increases the grander weapon durability recovery speed, obviously. Enhances the charge effect of legion magazine. Increase the amount of ergo gained from eliminating enemies. Well, that's obviously good <laughs> to have. Just get more levels in general. Increases the possession limit for consumables. Throwing objects. I mean, leveling faster is good. Why is it in there? That's confusing. This is one of the strangest leveling systems I've seen in a while. I don't know why the things you buy for individual upgrades are also mixed with other upgrades. Wait, should I go for the other one? Charges Fable and Perfect Guard is successful. Okay. So this... I don't know if I got plus one. I don't know if I if I just learned one. Do you equip two things into this thing and then you get the effect finally? Do I now have one pulse cell bonus or do I have two? Did I level it up twice? I have five. So I guess I did... So that was just to unlock the effect. So I, do, I, lock, I have to equip both of those things to then get the effect finally. It's not you, you unlock it and then you can level it up. Uh, I had to do both just to get the plus one. So now I have the plus one. And those other effects were there. I could have sworn that one of the things I could check in the other menu was increase the enemy's uh, stagger duration. And one of the actual things you try to unlock is also increase your enemy's stagger direction, uh, duration. So those two... can get from City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Vanini gave me that key, and now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. That's a little confusing if I'm right about that one effect repeating twice. But, I don't know. It's hard to say no to having another heal. The dodge is obviously pretty tempting because that could be a big deal, but I'm also trying to practice parrying. I probably would have prioritized any kind of parry upgrade if that was there, but it wasn't. 
Uh, mm, that's the question to ask. Maybe the difference, and it might be the difference between the two abilities, is that uh, what if one of them was the staggered duration, as in like how long they're in white mode, where you can hit them with a heavy to stagger them? And what if one of them was how long they are then staggered once you hit them when they're in white mode and they and they're vulnerable? Well, I don't care how long they're vulnerable to getting. If they enter white mode, then you hit them with a heavy thing, and then they're then prone, waiting for you to come up them and hit them in the weak spot. I don't care about upgrading that one because it shouldn't usually be a problem. The game, the enemies are presumably designed for you to then punish them, so making that longer is dumb. If one of them makes the stagger duration longer after you hit them with your not your visceral attack, your lethal attack or whatever, like when they're recovering, if that recover can be made longer so you get to wail on them while they're down longer, that would be a good upgrade to have. So I guess between those, there's like three interpretations of what stagger duration could mean. It could be how long they're in white mode, it could be how long they're in red mode where you can execute them, and it could be how long they take to recover from it afterwards. The ropes on this are funny. So this is where I always go to upgrade these then, right? Change shape. No saved shape memories. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. I guess I was KO'd for a while? I kind of thought that... It's like, in the story, Pinocchio is, like, awoken from being an animate object. But Geppetto didn't see, see that surprise to see me, so I, I'm guessing I've... I guess that must mean I've been awake before. Venini works as the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Vanini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood and that's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. Bye, Daddy. Alright, so levels are starting to get a bit more expensive. I came up this way on the way up. Let's go the other way on the way down. Am I imagining it, or did I... It might have just been that one door. I vaguely thought I remembered a different door I couldn't open. Oh, it's this one. We don't have it. It's gonna go to Rosa, Rosa Isabella or whatever. So it's, it's gonna go to the, one of the places that we've heard about. So I guess when I get there, it'll shortcut back to here and we'll be like, Whoa, we're here! It's crazy! Oh, 
It says to obtain humanity. That's interesting, because I just... I don't think that's a stat. I don't know if they just mean, like, metaphorically, like, the idea of regaining human of gaining humanity as a doll. Because they just say it. But I don't think it necessarily comes up. Motivity. Throws forward strong punches. Left hand parts made with exquisite detail. They do not have strong powers. It is just stronger. It's based on... It scales with motivity, so it's up to 165 damage now. Whereas this one is a puppet string. Hmm. Those are additional upgrades. Legion arm can release a wire. It can be strung around an enemy to drag it towards you or move you towards it. Trace. Press and hold the Legion button to track an enemy. Dodge. Enables dodging after a hit. Attack link. If you pull or wire trace an enemy and press hold, press and hold the Legion arm button, it will trigger a link attack. Legion arm cannot be modified. <laughs> hmm. then you can change the upgrades, right? I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to legion arms, but I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Puppet string. Fulminus. Legion arm that holds powerful electricity. It accumulates electric blitz and discharges an electric shock. Lightning blitz. Lightning has been interpreted as God's authority and fury since ancient times. Now God's fury descends to the earth and is being used to destroy steel monsters. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It's also very powerful, like 220? That's a lot of power. And it has good motivity. So it scales with my current stat. That's good. It also looks cool. I still don't know how to access any of the upgrades. Maybe I need to reread what the item says then. That's the summon. Basic consumable, ergo, rare ergo. The diamonds were used in my P organ. Oop. Increased damage afflicted on puppets. Puppet destroyer's amulet. The amulet that can be... Crush, crush, crush. The executioner par uh, puppet didn't know the reason or significance, but carried out his role. When did I get that? I don't remember getting that. I don't think I understand how to... Uh, first of all, if I got that before the boss fight, it might have helped with the boss fight, so it's a bummer I didn't find it. Whoops. But the game does shower you with items, and they're kind of hard to parse. Uh, Let's see these. The camera doesn't look down at you, so it's actually kind of hard to see yourself sit down. Puppy learned sit. Yeah, that would have been handy to have during the boss fight, but definitely good to have regardless, and I'll just keep it on. I think that the upgrade I'm looking for that lets you progress these arms might only be... Maybe you, find, you have to find Vanini first.
I wonder if the lightning helps them get into a staggerable state faster. I do kind of wonder what the what the trade-off is, like why you would prioritize lightning over just doing damage. I've got a cleaner profile now that I don't have a giant grappling hook on my on my wrist. So I guess there's that. What's that? The whistle is on the icon. Let's say push? What does that say? I think it's just telling me I can open those. Was this guy an orphan or something? Is it, will he react to it? Uh, basic items. Okay, so he can't equip the whistle. I wonder who. Maybe he reacts to it. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. No, not really. <clears throat> Electric coil stick head. That could be interesting. Electric blitz attack. Greatly increased electric blitz attack temporarily. The coil releases a powerful current that causes lethal damage to puppets. Head versus handle. This is one of those cases where I'm nervous about wandering around looking for what it wants from me. Because I'm on a sh doing a show, so I'm like, I don't know if I, just, I, don't know if I want to be a aimlessly wandering, hoping I can figure out where the plot item goes. The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may have been discarded as a failure, but those moments, the, at least, he wasn't the children's. He was the children's police officer. You can use it, but you have to use it from that menu. You can't equip it. Use it more easily. There are weird icons under my health bar, but I don't know what those mean. And I don't think I can highlight them to find out what they mean. Uh, for your information, I... He does not seem to care. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to poke forward and do fights and whatnot for now, but I'll take another look around maybe later. Try to figure out what I'm missing here. For now, let's see about going forward. Well, I, I, I got I got a new key. I might have to double check where that key actually goes. If it's not here, is this the boss chamber? It is. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I just haven't been here yet, so we'll just go here. Benini's guide, dear citizen of Kraut, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Benini Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenzini Venini, am going alone to stop those devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. I'll re the rest I'll leave to Mr. G Gepetto, who I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards, Lorenzi Venini.
Yeah, I don't... I was just trying to th remember that zone, and I just didn't have, like, a specific thing that came to mind of where I'd want to blow the whistle. I didn't want to just aimlessly wander around with it. But I'll have to th figure out what what's going on there. Those are all puppets that have been defeated. That's a sign. Am I about to just have blood on my hands now? Or are these still going to be puppets? I guess it doesn't have to be blood on my hands. They could just not attack me. Wouldn't that be neat? Here it is. The Nini works. Everything you see here belongs to the Nini. The classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Ah, I wish we could find him. That is, if he's still kicking. Terrifying child just came at me. Miracle cure. Buy the med miracle medicine here. The miracle alchemist, Clark Shore, also known as Dr. Cure-All, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Krat. Made from unicorn horn, blood of a two-headed snake, and boiled down mandrake, Clark Shore has tested it himself and confirmed that it completely cures the plague. The blue plague is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Cure-All, Clark Shore. Prices may vary as it is a limited item. It is a con taking advantage of people in their time of need. As it always is. Bye. Huh. It looks just like all the other locked doors, so it's weird that you can't interact with it at all. Even if they did put an awkward horse in front of it that it makes me think it doesn't want me to go that way. My first plunging attack! I keep fucking it up every time. Not entirely sure why. Get chopped, loser. That guy looks very big. Trapping myself a bit. And also just not really where I want to be going, because I definitely want to be going back upstairs and checking out the uh the roofs. Nope. Oh, sneak up on this guy before this guy attacks me. Nope. That's bad. Oh, this is really bad. I don't want to be trapped here. I don't want to be trapped here. Ow. Now, God, this sucks. God, this fucking sucks. You pricks. I want is like five feet to maneuver in, damn it. Alright. Ah! So that's the weird child thing? It's a vomit robot? Cool. Alright, well now I'm on the roofs that I knew I should have gone to first. <laughs> I just kept seeing slightly different things to look at. Polite of him to forget I exist, because that's the way in, and this is all cordoned off. I guess that's the that's that loose end taken care of. Okay.
there's a bit of a vibes based thing going on here because when he ha when they they their health bar turns white when they're in a, st a staggerable state meaning that you finish their bar off completely their invisible stagger bar and at that point if you hit them with a heavy attack uh, it'll stagger them but if you hit them with a the heavy attack, which itself also does stagger damage, and that heavy attack would uh, deplete their stagger bar, then it still staggers them. So if you have a vibe of like, it's not telling me I can stagger him, but I am actually, I, but I have a feeling I'm there, you might be right, and you can stagger him. One might ask then why it doesn't just make the bar flash then, if apparently he is in a staggerable state, because functionally that that is the case. He's, he basically he is in a staggerable state even when it says that he isn't. It's essentially re reporting it late. But my interpretation of that is that until you enter the staggerable state, I think that the meter keeps uh, depleting, or refilling I mean. And so until once you hit white, mode that's when you've successfully depleted it it stays that way for a while but until then you he, he might briefly be in a state where the heavy will stagger him but he also will recover from that uh, in a moment so it'd be confusing if it started flashing because you get you get confusing mixed feedback I, th I think is the idea okay well i don't want you attacking me while this phone's ringing so cut it out cut it out. Alright. Another fine day in the city of Krog. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Oh. <laughs> Congratulations! You've been selected from this cast of... A little. For an exclusive, obtrusive, intrusive... Really? Day, just two, no less and no more. It walks on three feet when the evening arrives. And if you solve this, then I'll know you're alive. It's a human. Monster. Springs are reacting. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. But the, um... <laughs> literally the moment I, I just saw the first line, I'm like, Fucking this one? The most overused riddle in history? Like, Oh, you're fought on your own baby on all fours, then you walk on your two legs, but then later in life you use a cane, so you're walking on three. Wow. I heard that riddle when I was like five, and now I'm old.
a trinity key. Key obtained from the King of Riddles quiz. The key probably unlocks something. The Sacred Triangle was some organization's secret mark. Rumor has it that this organization was Krat's true master. So it's it's like it's a key. It does key stuff somewhere. Ooh. We're just not gonna have that answer for a while. Hi. Oh, he's got company. Oh, he's got company. But not like that much company. <laughs> I can still one shot everyone here. Wee woo, wee woo. Things look pretty explored. A weird visual just because none of them are like fitting together. They're moving at different speeds though. Almost looks like one of those infinity clocks. And there are those weird things where they set it, they set a bunch of gears next to each other that are all spinning each other, but each one's each one takes exponentially longer than the last until uh, by the end you have a gear that like will literally not finish a rotation before the death of the universe. This fall? Did it go somewhere? Does it allow me to land somewhere? Will I just die of fall damage? <laughs> the front gate, which I imagine I can't open because it was pretty covered in stuff. Was not having a great time. Electric Blitz is effective for subduing puppets. Get it out if you're not a stalker. Stargazer activated. Eh. What was the chain for? The robo object. A chain that can be swung powerfully. Inflicts strike damage on anyone in the area and spins around enemies it hits. Sometimes, simple is the most effective. Quote from a stalker. It says swung, but it's in throwing objects menu. I wonder which one it actually does. Only way to find out is to spend it, I guess. So we're in zone number three. We're wrapping things up a bit, so maybe next episode will open with me having spotted something related to the whistle, because I might poke around between episodes, just kind of trying to spot what it might want for me. Should be able to level. I don't know what those icons are up there, though. I have a red head icon and a gray sh uh, armor icon. Just curious what those refer to. Now that we have a moment to talk, you must understand. The city is on its deathbed. The petrification disease spreads too fast, and the puppets rampage everywhere. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. That's why I found you. Our only hope, Geppetto's puppet. We're both unique. I am able to wield the power of Ergo, power I used to call on you. That's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. I'll use my power to help. We have not lacked for chances to talk. You just haven't been doing it.
I'm still getting plus four damage each time, so there's no lack of, of upgrade there. Good to know. So she channels Ergo, and I'm empowered by it. Hmm. I guess we have a... I was going to say, I guess we now know how she does the butterfly thing, which I guess we technically do, but not in a practical way, like how she physically does the butterfly thing, but that's why she can do it at least. That's something.